In this tutorial, I want to look at creating a um, couple of flanges, one vertical, one at an angle, and then have a flange coming in to meet it. So I'm going to start off in synchronous and um, just do a uh, tab. So lock the plane, control H takes me through to the sketch view. So I just want to have say 220 by about 140. And I'll just add in a thickness of two mil. So um, for the first flange, as I said, it's going to be vertical. And I want to make this say 50. And the next one I want off at coming out at an angle. So I select the edge, select the um, flange. And I want to put in, say, 135. Actually, I'll go 150. So that puts it in um, like so. So um, if you're doing this in ordered, it's really difficult to get the height of this to match the um, height of that. So um, if we can go to our front view, you can sort of see that we can sort of drag that out to somewhere in the right proximity even if i click on here it's just going to give me a um, uh, sort of an angled line coming in here so um, we just want to um, drag that out to roughly the right sort of spot um, and then from here i can use a 3d face relationship so i can go horizontal vertical so I can pick that edge with that one there and you see that that sort of then drops that in nicely. So um, now if staying in ordered, if I pick um, synchronous, if I picked up on this one here and drag it in, um, you'll notice that it's given me an error because we're sort of over overriding or overlapping that other flange. Um, so to get around this, we can um, use a um, ordered flange. So if I hit escape, transition to ordered, and then pick up off uh, this edge here. So go into the flange command. And I will just sort of place it in there. And as you can see, it still over, overlaps like the other one did. And if we leave it like that, it's just going to um, join the two together and um, not allow it to be flattenable. So from here, um, we go into our sketch command. And I can just delete that dimension, make this one a um, driven. And then I can use my relationship. So I want to go parallel this one to this one. And if I take off that horizontal vertical. And then I can use a coplanar. And that pulls that in. So we've got a nice sort of clean edge on there. So if we finish out of there. And close that off. Um, you'll see that we've got a nice sort of smooth um, finish in there. And obviously, uh, we can still go back to our um, flatten command and create your flat pattern of the um, finished component.